I'm Max Udenio. Today I will talk about supply chain shocks and their effect on inventories. In our research, we found that agile inventory management is crucial to navigate supply chain shocks. Let's start with supply chains. Supply chains consist of all the companies involved in the production of a product. For example, for the production of this pen, you need raw materials, you need to produce intermediate components, and you need the assembly of the final pen. This entire process, from extracting the raw material to having a pen sitting on a store shelf, can take months. During this time, the different components can travel through many different companies being processed and waiting. When products wait, we call them inventory. Now shocks. Shocks affect supply chains all the time. They are unpredictable and they can come from many different sources. We're currently going through a global supply chain shock. Due to the coronavirus, many factories in Asia are closed, quarantined or operating at a reduced capacity. These shocks can have significant consequences for supply chains in general and for inventory management in particular. We studied a big demand shock caused by the latest financial crisis. When this shock came, demand went way down. Some firms were able to keep inventory stable. Other firms were unable to react in time, so their inventories went up. And yet others overreacted and lowered their inventories too much. The firms that were able to keep inventory stable, we call them agile. What we found is that agile firms did better than those that didn't react, and they also did better than those that lowered their inventory too much. In other words, agile inventory management is associated with better financial performance. In addition, our research also identifies several mechanisms behind agile inventory management. For example, resource availability is a direct antecedent of agility, and liquidity is a constraining factor of agility. 